Welcome to day two of my time on the Scarlet Lady. We begin the day having breakfast in the galley because y'all know your girl loves some breakfast. So remember with this restaurant, you actually sit down at the table and they bring you whatever you want. But the great thing is that you can do a kind of walkthrough and see some of the meals and get some ideas of what you want to order. So I'm gonna give you guys some views of what they had available for breakfast on this day. And then we're gonna sit down and order. So stay tuned. Good morning. So we are at breakfast at the galley. And as you guys can see, there are so many options. So I'm about to go in here and order just about everything <laughs> so I can show you guys what I get. But I already have my cup of coffee ready. And let's go. If you guys don't know, I love a good vegetable omelet. I'm not vegetarian, so I throw my bacon on the side, but it's nothing like getting an omelet full of ingredients. I also decided to get this avocado toast, which was so good. I thought it was kind of weird that it came with the chips. I, of course, ate it, but this omelet was banging. Welcome to cruising during hurricane season. Random rain. So, since it is raining at Key West and I really wasn't interested in getting off the ship, I am going to look for um, a spa pass. So, I've heard that they're actually cheaper on port days. So, I'm going to see if I can go and get me a pass and just spend the day at the spa if I can figure out exactly where it is. So, we will be back. Alright, so I am headed to the spa. I found out that you can get a spa day pass for $39 on port days, $59 on sea days. And what that enables you to do is go and sit in like the saunas and all of that. There is a cold pool as well as hot tub in there. Um, I was told to just wear a swimsuit and they're gonna give you a robe and everything and you guys know how I feel about a robe. <laughs> so um, we're about to head down there. I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like in there and give you a little mini tour. Okay, so these are the changing rooms and I was just given my robe and slippers. So let's go in here and change. So the robe was actually really cute and I really like the way that it kind of sat and fit on me. However, the slippers did not fit at all. There was no chance. They were way too small. So after I got dressed, I went over to the locker area and locked up my things. So you can choose a locker and put your own personal code on it. And on your way in, you grab a little cup of mud for the mud bath. So the spa vibes start the minute you walk in. They have this delicious orange water and of course all of these towels you can grab. And I just wanted to do a quick pan to show you guys what everything looks like. And so there's a huge pool in the center and this is actually one of the hot tubs. And when you look over on the other side, you have the cold tub. So it's like ice cold. You guys will see me try to get in there in a minute. But first of course, I had to lounge in that private hot tub. Going during a port day was such a great hack because it wasn't hardly anybody in there. But of course it was a little bit too peaceful so I had to disrupt the peace and get in the cold bath. So I definitely sat on the edge and tried and thought about it and really wanted to get this moment for you guys and tell you what I thought. But I was like, nope, gotta go.
Next, it was time to get some more relaxation. So first, I checked out the steam room, which of course messed up my phone. So you guys just got views from out here. But trust me, it was perfect. This was the regular sauna and of course it's warm and it kind of has that dry heat feel. One of the things I liked about this one was that it was an authentic sauna where you could add water to the rocks to make the room a little bit more warm to your liking and a little bit more steamy. Next up was one of my favorites, which was the salt room. And the salt room is like the best place for relieving stress. So I spent a lot of time in here and actually took pictures. And I actually want to share with you guys how I took pictures in the sauna. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so I want to share a tool that I use that helps me capture my own content when I'm on vacation. And it's called the flip stick. And what this does is it helps your phone to stick to any flat surface so that you don't have to lug around a heavy tripod or have anyone to take your pictures for you. So let me show you guys how it works. It's sticking to the flat surface of the wall now and I'm gonna go over here and take my own photos. So I typically use this one of two ways. I either bring my Bluetooth remote and I constantly snap to capture my photos. In this case, since I'm recording, I actually went back and just screenshotted the video so that I could get my desired photos. But you guys, that's the hack. Next up was laying out and looking at the ocean from these heated marble floors. And when I tell you guys, this was so relaxing. I loved, loved, loved laying up here and it was just something about the lights and the cool music that was playing that just had me feeling so relaxed. And you know your girl had to get some photos. So my thoughts on the spa were absolutely yes. If you're looking for a way to relax while you're on your cruise and something that's a little bit different from what people traditionally do, I would absolutely say yes. And it was perfect going on a day that we were at port because it was almost empty. Hey guys, so after a relaxing couple of hours stay at the spa, I am heading to um, Sun Club Cafe, which I've heard is like a hidden gem when it comes to places to eat. So they have poke bowls, I guess that's how you say it, look like poke, but <laughs> they have those bowls and so I want to try those today and um, you know, let you guys know what I think of it. We're going to Gun Bay tonight, so I think a bowl is appropriate for me to eat light so that I can really, really enjoy tonight, so. Okay guys, so the little bun things, this thing here is called Bao. This is so good. And I think it has like raised short rib on it or something. Um, the bowl is really good too. It has kind of like a, um, like cold chicken, but I feel like this tastes relatively healthy and all the ingredients taste fresh and it's great because it has pineapple in it. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting better with these chopsticks. I even got me a little rice in here, <laughs> carrots. Uh, yeah this this was definitely good i don't know if it's worth i wouldn't feel like i like necessarily missed out on anything well that little bow is good that that you definitely need to try but the bowl you know i mean it, it tastes kind of like a standard bowl i think that you could have done without it but it's good oh and the pineapple and chicken is good Next up, I plan to go and find some ice cream. I am not missing out on ice cream. So that's our next stop, guys. Okay, guys. So if you're ever here, be sure to check out my girl Sarah and Lisa over here at Sun Club Cafe. So they hooked me up with some bio to go. You guys, these rolls are so good and so sweet. Um, there is so much meat in here. I don't know if you guys can see. 
um, that's ribbing here, but they told me that they're not open tomorrow, so they packed me up nice plate to go. They were so sweet. So be sure to check them out if you're ever on this ship. Woo, I found it! The best place in the world, hi! Welcome to ice cream. Yes, ice cream! Look at all of the flavors. We have made it, and then there are also options for cones. Oh boy, I'm about to turn into a big kid. Okay guys, she let me sample multiples and I could not decide. So I got a chocolate cone here and I got a butter pecan cup. <laughs> so now I'm about to head to the pool and see if I can catch some of the other girls and hang with them for a second. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. Too much ice cream, butter pecan, <laughs> and a chocolate cone. Alright guys, so we are still at Key West having a pool day. Uh, hey everybody, wake up. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Hey guys, nothing like getting back in my robe and playing with the tablet here. So let's see, I think I'm gonna watch a little movie before all of the Scarlet Night events. I stopped by the galley and grabbed me one of the little box meals that were already ready. So this is a smoked turkey breast um, wrap. And I am drinking my wine that I brought, which is Black Girl Magic um, Red Blend. So I'm gonna try that because I'm looking for a new good red wine. So good, so good. Such a good relaxation before all of the Scarlet Night adventures begin. <sighs> all right guys, it's Scarlet Night and I'm headed down to um, one of the shows we're going to tonight. And so we are going to dinner afterwards. We have to go ahead and get dressed. Even though Scarlet Night doesn't typically kick off until like 9 p.m. But um, I'm about to head downstairs because I am late once again. <laughs> So I'm um, about to meet everybody in a second and I will be back. Okay, so this is dual reality in the red room. Let me see if everybody is here yet. I think I'm on time, guys. So dual reality was a very, very high energy show and called for audience participation. Each side was split in between red and blue teams. And so I was on the red team over here on the left hand side of the screen. Um, it didn't really mean anything because you got the same awesome show, but I'll let you guys see a little bit more and then tell you what I thought of it. reality um, show and let's talk about it it was like acrobatic like all types of flips and just everything really really good and entertaining show um, like I said so this is night two second show I've been to the shows are so good I guess everybody's turning back around here's the crew we are all getting ready for Scarlet night and to start our festivities we're headed to um, Gumbay for dinner first, and that is the Korean barbecue restaurant. And then um, I think there is a Scarlet Pool party. And what else? What else? What else? The club. So we're going to see what all we get into tonight. But the night is young, and we are just getting started. Everybody showed up in the red tonight. Look at Oh, we're in the mirror. Oh, you're recording already? <laughs> I'm 
So we finally arrived at Gumbay Korean Barbecue. One thing to note about this restaurant is you cannot eat by yourself, so they will seat you with people if you are a solo traveler. So I, of course, I was with the group, so I didn't have that issue. But um, let me tell you, from the moment we walked up, Ivan was an experience, and this restaurant was an entire experience. We got one of the best seats in there where we were able to look out at the ocean as we were moving. So it was so beautiful. But let me show you guys this first appetizer plate. So our waiter recommended that we order every small plate. So while we were waiting on those, we played a drinking game. And I think the game was you couldn't say a number that ended in three, six, or nine. So as you can see, I can't even tell you the rules now. So that's why I was the first person out. But it was really, really fun. And eventually it switched over to you had to clap when you heard a certain number. Right. Give us a number to start. You're out of the game, huh? Okay. Give us a number to start. Fifteen. Continue, madam. I was super hyped every time somebody lost because I love Shadow Gumbe. Of course I couldn't resist a drink name. Give me that dong lip. I couldn't even tell you what's in it, but it was good. Everything I gave you, including the skin cheese too. Coming is the grill. Next one. So this definitely has shrimp. It gives more. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this spot is definitely a loud eating establishment. So it's not going to be like your sophisticated, quiet environment. So if you're looking for that, definitely don't choose gumbe. Um, but I will say that this was a really good switch out from hibachi. So you guys know when I cruise, I love to go to the hibachi spots. And so having Korean barbecue was definitely different, but I love that there were so many different meats and so many different sides to try. <laughs> Good. 
So after that amazing dinner, it was time for the Scarlet Night festivities to begin. So we headed up to the walking track on deck 17 to take pictures in front of the version sign. And you guys, this is a must do if you're on here. I definitely feel like this is one of the best places to capture photos of yourself, especially while you're in all red. First up was a stop at the manor to take photos in the infamous starry hallway. After that, I decided to head up to the pool area to see what the actual Scarlet Night festivities were, and it was just an overall party. I thought Scarlet Night was super cool in that the ship turned red and it was a way to celebrate, you know, Virgin Voyages as a whole and their theme. And of course, I love dressing up in red and love the photo component of Scarlet Night. But to be honest, I really could have done without this pool portion because I just do not find anything exciting about jumping in the pool with my clothes on. I'm sorry, that's just me. So you guys know I love a good opportunity to explore while no one is around. So since everyone was at the Scarlet Night pool party, I decided to head over to the pizza place. And I like the fact that they make the pizzas fresh so there's no pre-made component. You get to decide what ingredients you want on it and they make it up for you. And there's a nice little area outside where you can sit while you're waiting on your pizza to be made. And I really enjoy just sitting out there and waiting. The name seemed to do it for me, so I had to try the pizza that was named Pretty Fly for a White Pie. And um, it was pretty good and made with cheese and everything. And just sitting outside under the stars and eating my pizza was definitely a serene moment. That's it for this episode. Join me next time for a tour of Versions Beach Club in Bimini.